Boom, boom, boom. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. Today, I am here to do a Sephora haul. This is my Sephora bag of goodies. For those of you who don't know, Sephora is currently having their VIB sale where VIB members get 20% off. I think this happens once or twice a year. I am really excited about everything that I got, so I figured why not share the excitement with all of you. Uh, so let's do that. <laughs> I have the best transitions, I know. Also, if you wanna check out any of these products, I'm going to link them in the description box below. The first two items I got are a foundation and a concealer, and I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Concealer Duo. In the foundation, I got the color Y335, looks like this it doesn't look like it's gonna match my skin tone on camera but um i tried it on in the store and it did it did blend really nicely so uh excited to try that one and then for the concealer i got the color r32 it's a teeny tiny little tube fun fact i have not owned liquid like foundation in years um it's just never something that i used to wear if anything i used to wear powder foundation but even in the past year and a half i really kept my routine to concealer and translucent powder but i wanted to get this foundation in particular because it performs really well uh or it's known for perfor performing really well on camera and with lights and like flash photography and i want to be using this for when i film and if i have to go to any events and i need my ma makeup to look maybe a little bit more pizzazzy <laughs> than usual so it was about time that I got this. Uh, I'm excited to see, you know, if it makes a huge difference. The next item I picked up was from Fresh. It is their skincare cult classics gift set. Sorry, it's a little bright over here. I've got my ring light on. Um, but basically it comes with their soy face cleanser and their sugar advanced therapy lip balm, which I think this is a smaller version, but I did once get their larger version. And I really love that lip balm. It's the winter, I need something to moisturize my lips and I'm running out of my homemade lip balm. So uh, this mini -er size of the sugar one will get me through for the next um, little bit. And I really wanted to try the soy face cleanser because all of the reviews on Sephora were raving about this cleanser and how just incredible it was. Which side note, big tip, don't read reviews on Sephora.com because man, do they convince you to make purchases that maybe you shouldn't. Uh, but this was a pretty good value. It's, I think it was like around $26, so it says here on the package. So it gives me an opportunity to try this cleanser out without committing to the larger size. Fresh items are pretty pricey, so I feel like if you can try a smaller size option, that that's a better route because then you can really see if you like the product before investing in the full size version. Okay, so the item that I probably splurged on the most in this haul uh, was an eye palette. Now, I went into Sephora intending to get the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which if you've seen any beauty guru on YouTube, you know that this palette was beloved by so many people and of course it was sold out but a sephora employee employee currently can't speak english today directed me to the mark jacobs section and she showed me this palette by mark jacobs called scandless so i'm gonna open it and basically it was love at first swatch i guess she swatched a few of the colors on my on my wrist and i was a goner this is what the packaging looks like it's very luxurious Thin, it's sleek it's probably a perfect palette for you know being on the go it's not that I really ever take eye palettes with me on the go but then you open it up and this is what it looks like how gorgeous are these colors the camera is definitely not doing this palette at all any justice if you go to Sephora I'd highly recommend going and just check this out because when I swatched these and even compared them to the Modern Renaissance palette, I found these colors a lot more pigmented and every single one of the colors in this palette has uh, two shimmery shades or three shimmery shades and four mattes. I can see myself using them, uh, like all of them on a daily basis and getting a lot of variety with all of the colors. I can do like an everyday look, a look or a more, you know, glammed up look. I'm definitely gonna be using this for the holidays. If you wanna see me do a holiday makeup look this year, uh, then let me know in the comment section down below. I went into Sephora intending to buy only one palette, but I ended up coming out with two. Uh, and the other palette that I got was this Tarte Blush Bazaar Amazonian Clay Blush 
palette. Let me open it up here. Look how many blushes you get in this palette. Isn't it insane? You get eight blushes, two highlighters. This is just like blush highlight heaven. I have one blush from Revlon that I probably had for you know well well over a year maybe two years I really should throw it out so um, when I saw this I thought it was such a great deal because each one of Tarte's normal blushes like their full size is 30 something dollars and this was in the 50 range and you get so many they're not full size but there's plenty of product for each blush now I really like am set for blushes I don't need to add any more blushes to my makeup collection for the foreseeable future however like I think it was nice to get this palette because I don't have any blushes on hand or even really like any glittery highlighters so it, it was it, it was time it was time all these companies do an amazing job of packaging because I just can't stop like touching them. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> the last item I have is another little set from Bite Beauty. This is their the perfect bite uh, lip set and it comes with the colors honeycomb, sugarcane, rhubarb, and cayenne. I've been meaning to try bite lipsticks for quite some time now because I hear really great things about them uh, but instead of just trying one color I thought this would be a really good opportunity to try you know a few different colors see you know which one speaks to me more not to mention that I never really even go through a full lip Stick, so I feel like these mini ones are going to last me for quite some time. I found it to be a really good bang for your buck. I think in general, like the gift sets that come out around this time of the year at Sephora usually are a good deal if you intend to use everything in the gift set. I've definitely in the past gotten kind of like mesmerized by, you know, the deal of a set and then after a few months of having it I realized oh like I never even ended up really using that product or this one so it would have just made sense to to buy the full product right from the get-go the ones I got this year the lipstick the fresh the the Tarte palette um, I think those are, are really awesome uh, deals because I fully intend to use everything so I feel like I scored there and that wraps up today's haul I hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did let me know in the comments below if you went or took advantage of the Sephora VIB sale and let me know something that you bought or if you have any product recommendations for me I'd love to hear them I myself am probably going to take off all my makeup and reapply it using all of this new stuff so uh, I'm gonna go do that I will see all of you soon with a new video and until then bye everyone you just wanna drink your wine and grab a glass and let it go